Hi guys, welcome once again to our uh, stabilizing emulsion series of module 5. Now I, I already told you how to create a slurry out of our phase B ingredients. We've got propylene glycol in here plus uh, xanthan gum. So we'll, we'll, since we've already prepared a slurry out of the two ingredients on phase B, we'll just go ahead and set this aside. I'll turn this on and then um, we'll work on phase A now. We've got our aloe vera hydrosol on this container and distilled water on the other container. So I've got three ingredients on my phase A. I've got sodium benzoate. So sodium benzoate is not, be, not um, heat sensitive. So I can go ahead and combine all, my, all our phase A ingredients. This is what I'm going to use, a bigger container. Here goes all our um, aloe vera juice. Then our distilled water. Okay, distilled water. Then our sodium benzoate. and steel. So I've got here our, while well, waiting for sodium benzoate to dissolve a little bit onto the liquid, if you will notice I've got my uh, stove over here on the other side. Got our stove and Uh, magnetic steer here um, that is able to warm our face A. So I'm going to go ahead and try to make it a little higher. Sorry, it's a little bit hot. So I got started. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and place our face A's on this. Uh, magnetic steer. Uh, I'll go ahead and warm this to 75 degrees Celsius and then I'm going to go ahead and work on our face C's on the other side. So we've got our oils on face C's. So what we have on face, these are oils and waxes that we need to stabilize our emulsion. We're not going to talk about how to stabilize our emulsion at this point, but what I'm doing is to show you how we create our emulsion. So we will need to warm both of the faces, face A, A and B, and face C's all together, all at the same time. Time. And we've got our emulsifier here. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and place it on our stove to warm. What I had, what I have here a while ago are, is um, prior to the emulsifier, I've, uh, uh, I have there our great seed oil. And then here's another oil. You will have a copy of our uh, ingredients, so don't worry. Okay, so here's another oil in the formula. Shea butter. Beeswax. I'll explain to you why 
we need to add beeswax in our emulsion later when we talk about the lecture. So the first, uh, next is stearic acid. Okay, so it's um, either stearic acid or we use um, glycerol uh, stearate citrate. just get all of the ingredients and be able to combine everything. Okay, there you go. So all our waxes, our oils, binders and thickeners in. And we need to warm this up to 75 degrees Celsius. Right now it's a little high. So let me just put this on low. Yeah. While waiting for our uh, water part to okay, it's still so I'm just gonna uh, turn this off for now because we need to wait for them to be in at least the same temperature um, and then I'm gonna go ahead and add our slurry slurry gum slowly into the water. basically warming our face A and B and our face C. Okay, so both of them should have the same temperature. At least if one is a little bit higher than the other face, it should be in the increment of 5 degrees Celsius. With this method, guys, you won't have to worry about your uh, gums to form fish eyes because you've already slurried your gums onto more. Alright, so I'm just trying to find a, so I can take this off. Otherwise, I think I'm going to burn our face. So right now it's got really high temperatures. So I'm just going to set this aside for now. Okay. While we work on our face B. So uh, you, you actually, you need to do that in order that uh, you don't burn your each face is. So if one face is a little bit higher in temperature, you'll have to turn off, turn your heating element off and wait for the other one to, uh, the temperature of the other face to raise to at least same temperature as your um, other face, like your face C. So I'm just trying to work on the temperature of our face A and B. So right now it's on uh, 47 basically yeah we need to raise it up to 75 degrees Celsius so we're gonna wait a little bit for that to happen so again why are we adding gums to our lotion this is to give us a structure uh, gums will also help us with adding shelf life to our product because gums can actually uh, bind you know all the emulsions together and prevent any uh, separation from happening okay it's on 49 we're just waiting for it to uh, raise off and this one is on 87 so you'll have to keep on doing that checking the temperature for so this is this infrared ter, uh, thermometer is really important for you to be able to mo monitor the temperature of each phases so 
you'll have to monitor the temperature of your uh, phase A. Right now it's already on 54 and then check on the temperature of your phase C. So right now phase C is on uh, 77 degrees Celsius. So I'm not going to worry about this one for now. I can just go ahead and put this on the stove in a bit later, but I'll just concentrate on our phase A. It's on 53 now. So we're just waiting for a little bit before we proceed with um, combining, combining both of them to create our body lotion. So again, we have um, we actually have uh, two, four phases already here. We've got our phase A and B combined and we're warming it to 75 degrees Celsius. And we've got all our phases here con composed of the oils and the waxes and the binders in the formula all together. Then, so we've al we already have four phases here. Then we will have our phase D later once the temperature lo lowers down to at least 40 degrees Celsius, we could start adding phase D with while stirring. Then um, at the very end, once the uh, emulsion or the lotion uh, went down to, the temperature went down to at least 25 degrees Celsius, I can go ahead and check the pH and add a buffer solution in order to adjust the pH, the pH that we require for a body lotion. Let me just check it again. It's on 59. We're still um, and now your um, faces are on 55. So we'll have to warp, hit this again before we start the emulsion, but I'm still waiting for our phase A to raise up 59, okay? We're doing great, so I'm gonna go ahead and warm our oils once again. So you have to do that, you know, um, put this uh, on and off the stove, uh, on and off your heating element to uh, be able to monitor the temperature of your of the, of the two phases you're working on, so, yeah. Okay. So let me just check our phase A once again. It's on, still on 59. Okay, it's on 60 and let's check our is on 67 so we're good so all those uh, waters that solidified will once again melt up okay, melt down together with the rest of the oils we just get this This is a pretty rich emulsion we're working on right now. So we've got 64 right now and okay, I'm just going to turn this off once again because it's, uh, uh, you know, it's uh, raising up. The temperature is raising up to 100 degrees Celsius and you don't want to do that. You don't want your any of the faces to boil up because uh, when you do that, when that happens, one of your faces uh, is boiling, um, it's going to cause your, it's going to cause your emulsion to separate at the end and you don't want that to happen. We're just waiting for 10 degrees Celsius, another 10 degrees Celsius, and we're done with our oil. And then I'm going to turn this off and once again, get rid of the stove.
134 and this one is 70 yeah okay so um we're good so 74 75 yes so now that we have 75 degrees Celsius here, I'm going to turn this off now.